bless your holy name for yet a wonderful Sunday in your presence. We thank you for all you have done for us. We thank you for the place of your power in our life. We thank you because you have been so good, so kind, that you have seen us through the journey of seven months of year 2020. And you have ushered us into this new month, the month of August, which is the eighth month of the year. We are so grateful, Father, because your mighty hand has kept us thus far. Despite the challenges all over the world, you have remained faithful. You have remained good and gracious unto us. Indeed, we can count on your numerous blessings. And we say thank you, Father, for all you have done for us. We thank you because your promises for us are yea and amen. Your plan for us are for good, to give us a hope and a expected end. We thank you for the move of your spirit. Even in our days, we give you all the glory because this year 2020 indeed shall be a year that thou, God, shall be God in every area of our life. Thank you, wonderful Father. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. As we go into this morning service, brethren, friends, I welcome you and we worship the Lord with this song. Holy Holy, holy. of your name.
Jesus. Every tongue confess. A dimension. A dimension of your name. Of your name. Every knee shall bow. A dimension of your name. Every tongue confess. You are Lord. You Father, I declare your power over the airwave right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we enter into this month of new beginning, I command doors to open for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let the power of God go ahead of you in this new month. Amen. And let him make way where there are seemed to be no way for you in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. It is written that the Lord shall do a new thing and it shall spring forth and you shall know it from this moment henceforth. I command your land to be fruitful. Amen. I command your labor to be fruitful. Amen. I command your sweat to bring Amen. you great result in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. The power of the Lord will connect you to great places. Amen. Land shall fall upon pleasant places for you in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Your journey in this month shall be swift like that of the eagle. In the anointing of the Lord will function greatly in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, wonderful Father. Amen. Every yoke or plague that is set against you in this month, let them be broken in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We read quickly the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 49. Isaiah 49. That is verse 24. Isaiah 49. Verse 24 and 25. Praise the Lord. Amen. It says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus said the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will save thy children. Shall the prey of the mighty be taken, or the lawful captive delivered? The book of Luke chapter 13. Luke 13. And I read verse 11 to 13. Luke 13, verse 11 to 13. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, 
thou art loosed from thy infirmity. And he laid his hand on her, and immediately she was made straight, and glorified God. Hallelujah. I preach to you this morning the message titled, Breaking Free from Captivity. Breaking Free from Captivity. Prophet Isaiah asks a very, very important question. He said, shall the prey of the mighty be taken? It immediately leads us into two things. One, there is a mighty one. Two, there is a prey. Meaning that there are powers or strongholds or strong men that will hold the life of people in captivity. And those who are held in captivity are referred to as prey. And when by the Spirit of God, Prophet Elijah was looking into the Prophet Isaiah was looking into these issues, he asked the question, how can the prayer of the mighty be delivered? That means the life of an individual can become a prayer in the hand of the mighty. Jesus asked the same question in the book of Matthew chapter 12. Amen. In the book of Matthew chapter 12, Jesus said, Say, How can one plug into a strong man's house without first of all have to bind the strong man? How can one go into the house of a strong man without first of all have to undo the power of the strong man? Meaning that there will be strong powers that can be in charge of people's life, that can be in charge of people's destiny, that can be in charge of people's virtue, that can be in charge of people's future, that can be in charge of people's family. And when someone's life or aspect of somebody's life is in captivity, then such a person may not experience the needed growth or progress that his life or her life is supposed to carry. When we look at the encounter of that woman that we read about in the book of Luke, chapter 13, with Jesus, the Bible says that this woman had been in that condition for 18 good years. She was bent double. She could not straighten herself again. Jesus said that this, the Bible said that this woman had been burned by the spirit of infirmity. Now listen carefully to me. It is not just talking about somebody having a sickness that is coming and going. The Bible talks about this woman have been burned. That is, this woman have been kept captive in the, with the power of captivity of infirmity that have taken over her life and is ruling over her life. And this has been in place for good 18 years of her life. Meaning that for 18 years of the life of this woman, this woman was remained stagnated. She couldn't do anything meaningful with her life. I pray for you that any yoke of captivity in any area of your life shall be broken by the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Captivity is a place of slavery. Captivity is a place of forceful enslavement. Captivity is a place of of, of evil oppression and domination of people's life. Captivity is a place of manipulation. Captivity is a place where people are being pressed down, oppressed, afflicted, tormented. That's what captivity does to people. Captivity means the capacity of people to become who they are supposed to be. And I tell you that a slave remains a slave until he is free from the power of his captors. Whatever has rendered your life captive this moment, let the power of God locate it and shatter it in your life in Jesus' name. Because you need to break free from that captivity. It's a place where life of people are heavily limited, where the life of people are heavily impaired, where the life of people, they, they have lost the choice of their life. Because the owner of captivity is ruling over their 
their life. And the, the, the case we saw is the case of the children of Israel when they were in Egypt, a land of captivity to a great army of God. But as long as they were kept in that land, the Bible said they labor, but they got nothing from their labor for themselves. Everything they do, the taskmaster take it from them. And that is why they are called the strong men. They are strong men because they are in charge of people's life and they will not let go easily. That I pray this morning that any authority of oppression, any authority of darkness that is asking you questions, where are you going? You are not going to be free from our hand by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let that authority be paralyzed over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. A lot of family have suffered in the hand of the, 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 the strong man of captivity. A lot of home have suffered. A lot of great destiny have suffered in the hand of captivity. I remember the story of a young man that was doing extremely well in school. This person was very good academically. But by the time this one was approaching his final school at those days, all of a sudden he lost his spirit. And when the parent died, oh, this brilliant brain was forgotten completely as if nothing again is there for him. And he kept on moving from one pain or the other, from one sorrow situation to the other, that to the extent that he could not continue his education. And he has to take into things that he should not be doing. Why? Because the power in his father's house are Kill the glory of that family. They have killed his parents and the helpers that could have been available for his destiny. Are there powers in your foundation that is continually pushing people that are supposed to help you away? Let that power be arrested by heaven this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is what the, 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 the strong men of captivity do to people. They can hold a, a whole family, they can hold them captive. I remember a family that have about six girls. And these six guys, most of them, are, in fact, all of them, they have graduated. They are old enough to get married, but they are all sitting in their father's house with their mother in a small house they rented. No job, no husband. No job, no husband. No job, no husband. If a suitor come today and say, ah, well, you look good, I'm going to marry you, I'm, and immediately they get serious with that relationship, things will go wrong and everybody will scatter. Until prayers were began to pray to address the power that hold that captive, that family captive. And when that power was arrested, I tell you, in one year, that same family hosted three marriages of the same people from the same home, three marriages in a single year. I pray for you that any strong power holding your life down, let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord said in Luke chapter 4 verse 18, He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel, the good news. And He has anointed me, has empowered me to set the captives free. Therefore, by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says for this reason, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy every work of darkness. Therefore, every work of darkness that is making your life to bend double, that is making your life not to be able to fulfill destiny, that is making your life not to be able to experience joy. I pray this hour that that yoke is broken in your life in the name of Jesus. That captivity must let you go. The owner of captivity must let you go. The authority of captivity must let you go in the name of Jesus. But adventure, they are sitting in your foundation. Yes, because there are so many homes, there are so many lives that the trouble they have is in their foundation. It, it, is, it is flowing from generation to generation. It could be captivity of causes that we call generational causes that is flowing from one person from generation to generation, from this generation to another generation, from this generation to another generation, from this generation to another generation. To another generation. This hour that you are hearing me, I pray for you that yoke is broken in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. That cause is broken in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. That evil pattern is broken in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I use the power of the blood of Jesus to separate you from that evil evil alliance in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Captivity can manifest in different form. It can manifest in people's health. It can manifest in people's finances. It can manifest in people's marriages. Even it can manifest in the around where people are living. There are cases that we have heard where people will move to a particular environment and they are singled out from oppression. 
It is as if rain is falling in other places and people are getting blessed, but that rain is not touching their life. They have been singular by the power of captivity. Today, if that is your experience, you will I experience that no more in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever is covering your head from receiving rain of blessing, from receiving rain of abundance, is removed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There was a case of a woman and her husband, but it was the woman that came first for prayers. This woman used to travel around, around the world, used to go to places, do a lot of big businesses, all of a sudden, she couldn't travel any longer. All the connections she had, everything was just abandoned. She was kept here, cannot do business. All her businesses have gone comatose. Things have gone really bad for her. The day I saw this woman, I never knew that she has even seen beyond the, 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 beyond the land of Lagos, talk less of traveling abroad, apart from the cloth that she wore. That I knew that for somebody to wear this kind of cloth, this person cannot be a mean person. Because the person inside that cloth have completely lost the beauty and glory of life. I pray for you. If you are in that shameful situation, your yoke is broken this morning in the name of Jesus. She came for prayers. And when we began to pray, all of a sudden, the husband also came for prayers. And we went to pray in the house. We sent some ministers of God to go and pray in their house. Lo and behold, when prayer began to go on, all of a sudden, the landlord that owned our house, where they rented, where they were living in, said, well, you don't pray in this house. We will not allow you to pray in this house. We pleaded with the man, and the prayer began. Seven days into that prayer, a goat died in the front of their house. And the problem started. In that same house where prayer was going on, 14 rats came from nowhere, died in the center of their sitting room. Immediately the goat died, and the rat died. All of a sudden, people began to call this woman. Those who are, where have you been? We've been looking for you. So it means people have her contact. But somehow, the enemy, the lord of captivity, the owner of captivity, has placed an embargo upon her life not to move forward any longer. The power that set that family free that day, and they began to travel and connect to places of great places that they have been before, and other new places were open for them. Let that power flow into your life. Wherever you have been oppressed this morning, be released in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prophet Isaiah, when the Bible went for that, it says, the prayer of the mighty shall be delivered. So no matter the level of captivity that the enemy has placed upon your life, I have a good news for you this morning. That the power of God is capable to set you free. And I release that power this morning to begin to work upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, even if the lawful captive, perhaps your parents have offended. Perhaps you have offended. And somebody is holding your action against you. So that your life will not move forward. I stand as an oracle of God this morning by the God of heaven who has sent me. And I command you to be delivered from that oppression. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you will be delivered. In fact, Amen. you are delivered now. Just as that woman received her instant deliverance, that the Lord, the Bible says, and the Lord said, Woman, thou art loosed. As many that are hearing me through this message, I decree to your life, wherever you have been held captive, you are delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. And immediately the Bible said, the Lord laid hand upon her, and she was straightened. Today, every area of your life that has been bent, or locked up, or tied down, is released in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you. That the power of God will rise highly upon your life. As you go into this month, I release the power of the Almighty. Yes, to disgrace every stubborn power that wants to stand against you. To disgrace every envious witchcraft. All those who are boasting against your life, I command them to be arrested by heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, every cause, every spare, Every evil network, every conspiracy that gather against your life, power that says you will never become who you are supposed to become, let those power be arrested in the name of Jesus. Let their oppression.
oppression against your life be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I decree that the mighty hand of God will lift up the banner of, of, of protection over your life. We lift up the banner of, 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 of prosperity over your life. We lift up the banner of breakthrough over your life. You are waiting for academic success. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every network of delay be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. See you in your testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 Beloved, this is anointed life and power church and I'm happy that you could be part of this program and I pray for you that the good Lord will show you great mercy and favor this season in Jesus name Amen. you can join in any of our program and worship in any of our branches you can check on our activities on our website www.alpchurch.org Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can also give your tithe and your offering online. As you do so, the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to bring this program to a close by singing unto the Lord from our hymn book, Onward Christian Soldiers. Hallelujah. Christian soldiers. On oh, what Christian soldiers marching has to walk with the cross of Jesus going on before Christ the royal master Leads against the foe, forward into battle, see, see his banner go. Oh, one Christian soldier, oh, one Christian soldier, marching us to war with the cross of Jesus, going on. The sign of triumph, Satan all to free on the Christian soldiers unto victory. Hell's foundation quiver at the shouts of praise. Brothers, lift your voices, lift your hands and raise. Oh, 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 Christian soldiers, soldiers marching us to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. Like a mighty army. Move the church of God. What as we have treaded, where the saints have trod, we are not divided. All one body we, one in open doctrine, one in charity. Oh, oh, Christian soldiers, marching us to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. God bless you.